Hi everyone, very cute GM here. Um, so this video is a little different um, than my other videos. It's not a vlog. It's actually I'm posting a D and D game I I, I play with my friends on uh, Thursday nights, and we just started using Roll20.net. Um, if you've been following my Twitter, then you know this, and a couple of you I speak to directly. Um, so I just started recording in during the middle of the campaign because we had been meeting before face to face. However, that changed because there's been a ton of snow in Boston and it's impossible to park in the city. So my side streets are really narrow and you can't park in them. Um, so we've been getting on Roll20.net. It's kind of easier for every one of us because, you know, we can just shut it off and then we can just go to bed because a lot of us have to be up early or that kind of thing, and it's pretty cool. So this is kind of a summary of what has happened. There've, there have been two or three game sessions uh, we had in person before we stopped. So what has happened before is we got a job uh, the the party, um, party and I uh, got a job. Uh, my partner is running the game to go investigate this house. Um, our employer had his brother had gone into the house and with his own party, and they never came out. So we accompanied the younger brother to the house, and we found out there was this creepy mage woman living there and then we discovered a plot where the brother actually had his brother murdered and he planned to take his wife um and it was it was good so we were about to leave the house when we found a dungeon underneath this old woman's house so we decided hey let's just go check it out so directly before this um there are four of us in the party currently. Uh, there is myself playing Shorn Dragonmaw, uh, Dwarf Cleric of Helm. Taking this campaign takes place in Waterdeep, if you couldn't tell from the title. Um, there is there was Raindrop the Druid, but she decided the player decided she wanted to play a bard instead. So Ginger McBeardy, the bard, also another dwarf who has a beard. I see Shorn pinning on her in the future. Um, we have Evan Wood, the human fighter, um, very proficient with a bow, um, as well as swords. And we have Marwyn, the, the warlock whose pact is with the crazed old god Cthulhu. His alignment is a little ambiguous at the moment, we don't know. So we had just entered this dungeon and we set loose this goblin. And the only one in the party in the, in the party can, that could talk to this goblin, because the goblin does not speak common, was Marwyn. He has an ability which is granted to him through his um, class and pact of, with the Ogaza. He can communicate telepathically with any creature, as long as they know a language. It could be any language, and he could understand that creature. So, Duzen, the goblin, as we found out, ran into this room, and he was about to jump into a big pit, a big chasm. And we're telling Marwyn, okay, just, we need information about this dungeon. We, we know shit all about this dungeon. All we know is there are kobolds in it. So he starts talking to the goblin, um, and he rose very poorly, and instead of persuading the goblin off the ledge, the goblin takes a nosedive into the chasm, which we find out is filled with with water. Ten feet of water, forty foot drop. So we send Marwyn in there, and that's where we are right now. So I hope you enjoy this, and if you have any comments, I know I was echoing. I think I fixed that with my mic, and I think... Ginger, Rian, who was playing Ginger, she was a little too high, so volume-wise, so I'll turn that down in the next session. Um, this is a series of videos. There are six videos, each about half an hour long, and this is just that one session from that night. Um, I plan on posting each a session 
um, a night. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And if there's anything I could do tech on my technical side about this, let me know. And I hope you enjoy the show. See you guys. Yeah. You want to bugger out of here? And, and, and just so you guys are, just to clarify, the bridge is connected to the ledge you're on. It, the, the graph, unfortunately, was um, snapped to the grids. I didn't deal with it, so it doesn't. Oh, I thought it was like free does, swinging, and we'd have to jump for it. No, <laughs> that would have been cooler. Well, do you remember the handout I gave you? Yeah, handout C has a picture of it. So does 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 dozen do, dozen dozen dozen? How would it's, you say that? What dozen? dozen. The word is dozen. <laughs> No, not does oh. <laughs> oh, the goblin? Yeah, D- does he know anything about this, like, area? Like, right. like, this, like all right, well, I'm asking him. Well, we don't <laughs> with have... My... Oh, with your mind. With my mind. <sighs> Ryan, what do you want to ask him? Uh, like, what the hell's going on here? Like, what's with the statue? Uh, why is he... Why did he get, like, why, why is he in a cage? <laughs> um, all right. Hang on one second here. I haven't answered that question. No, uh, my the village, the village destroyed. I capture. I don't know. Taz, Taz, Tazak, Tazak kill village. Are you the only one here? I'm the only one here. <laughs> About to throw this guy down. <laughs> no! <laughs> He's already jumped out at once. How bad could it possibly be? That's true. Hey, where, 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 where is he? One, two, three. Oh, there he is. All right, I'm a, I'm a walk onto the bridge. All right. Yeah, I'm out. Let's right. get some action happening. Can I, I'm gonna cast disguise self and disguise myself as a cobalt. You, you can't you really? do that. They're, they, they see you. Oh, Doesn't lady. mean you can't do it. I can still do it. Yeah, you can do it if you want. Go ahead. I'm it not might be just it. the dumbest kobolds ever. <laughs> well, hey, maybe they're too busy looking at this archer guy that's walking on the bridge. You never know. I am pretty handsome, so yeah. it's possible. You don't have a beard. You got nothing. I do have a beard. What are you talking about? Chris, as you're walking across the bridge, you see them. You see the, you see the, red, the red eyes move position. Um, so, like... And you also go to the bridge with, with Chris, or Ev- Evan would, excuse me. Uh, um... Mm. Okay. Oh. I'll, I'll, I'll stand ready to go across the bridge. Alright. Everyone roll initiative, please. Okay. Oh, crap. How do we do that again? Um... You roll a d20 and you add your dexterity bonus, or you hit this button. Oh yeah, there was a button. Oh, I have to I have to click my guy. Yeah, I gotta click my guy too. <laughs> I don't know why that button has to have your guy clicked, but it does. Did I just press the thing? Sweet, I'm, I'm gonna, definitely yeah. going first. I'm gonna do a roll, group initiative for these guys, if you don't mind. Not at all. Mm. All right, let's everyone a turn order. So we all go last. Uh, except for Shorn. It's a little depressing when someone rolls a nat one and I'm still lower than them. <laughs> you, guys, you guys act tomorrow. I'll act right now. Oh, hang on here. Where's the turn order? We all just fell into a coma for six seconds. Yep. Pretty much. There we go. Okay. Lo siento, pero yo no puedo hablar inglés. Solamente español y japonés. Okay. All right, so first we're going to Shorn. Yes. Yeah. That's pretty good. Why are you next going, you why are you going yes, it's three just times? I don't know. What did you want, 15? Yes. All right, hang on. I need to go get zero. Evan, what did you get? Six? Okay. Marwin, you got two? Yeah. Ginger, you got four? That is That's awesome. Good. Oops. All right, hang on. All right, clean this up here. All right, that means first action is Shorn. All right, I move my ass here. And well, all right, hang on, hang on. Okay. One, two, three, all right. Okay. Yeah. Are we good? Yeah. Okay, good. And then I am going to cat. Do they appear armed? 
Uh huh. Wow, we got. Oh. At this point, I think we can see them. They're obscured in a magical mist. So I cannot see if they are armed or not. No, but but common sense will tell you that given every cobalt and stun so far has been armed, we are probably armed. Okay. But we may not be. Maybe cobalt of peace. A peace. <laughs> Red-eyed, evil-looking motherfuckers. Okay. That's what happens when uh, you stereotype. I need to cast a sacred flame then, at Cobalt number one. What's that do? Uh, the power in- of Christ compels you. Uh, well, the power of who? Who? Who the, who the fuck do I worship again? What? <laughs> uh, the the My power God. of Helm compels me. Um, they need to roll a Dex save. Thirteen. Who? Just one of them. Uh, yeah, just Cobo number one. A deck, I get a deck save? Yes. I have. I rolled a 12. Really? You're doing that again? <sighs> After like 20 minutes of just like shoving food in your mouth in front of the camera, now you're like no blanket time? I, so rolled, happened, I rolled one for damage. Why did he take this one damage? Yes. Alright. Impressive. No, Oof. it's not. I rolled a one. No, I'm just trying to be nice. Okay. All right. So next up. Oh, it's me. Okay. So they start to cut the rope. <gasps> no. Oh so, no, yeah. You guys are screwed. Wait, so these guys are misty, but then they're like cutting a rope. No, the cup. They they they're, they're shrouded in mist. They're not made of mist. Okay. All right. So let me see. That is the roll to hit the rope. Crits the rope. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> bye bye, guys. <laughs> All right. Oh, wait, so, it's just water down there, right? Now I gotta do damage. Hang on. Now, that has to do a certain amount of damage for the rope to be cut. Let's see what happens. What's... All right, so the first kobold, he's a little annoyed at, at Shorn for um, doing something to him. Mm-hmm. So he, he takes, his, uh, takes his dagger and says, cut the rope. Um, All right. And, oh, but that's a crit, so it's, it's um, if I mean, is it double or is it times it's two or is it max? You rolled four. twice. Yeah, you rolled oh, twice. twice. Okay. okay. <laughs> Not Six your bonuses, damage. just the dice. Yeah, there are no bonuses for his dagger. No. Second kobold. Uh, he missed the third one. Hit. So let's see here. And that is sufficient. The bridge goes, wobbles to the side. As the rope is cut, and I need everyone on the bridge to die. No, um. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, kind of right. save? Hey, uh, I was saying, I'm. It's gonna be a duck save. No, no it? save. Um, it specifically says no save. Okay. But, but hang on. So, dex check or something? The save no. on the. Um. No, but you're you're you want to take um. It's non-lethal falling damage. I can't... What? You're not even giving us a chance to hold on to the other half yeah. of the bridge. According He's to, cut one of the four I, points I, of... The module says don't save, but you do make a good point. So let's say... Uh, I'll give you the dex check to see if you hold on to half the bridge as it, as it falls. So, so, so um, Evanswood, <clears throat> Ginger, Shorn, make yep. a dex check. Can... Oops, that's, uh, that's, that's strength. My bad. That's better. What? That's <laughs> no, it's not. But, but you know, but you know what I'm gonna do because, because I'm very nice, and because you saw them start to cut the rope, I'm gonna give you advantage to get ready to hold the hold the bridge because they're starting to cut. All right, so fifteen. So go, so fifteen. Okay. Um. So Evan Wood. Okay. I what? So so I need, so so we, uh, Ginger, I need you to um roll two one d twenties and add a dex. Oh, okay. There you go. That no, you're all made the deck yep. so, it's, it's so the bridge the is going, is going, and you're holding onto the side. Um, unfortunately, I can't represent that on here. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do this. Just a, uh, it snaps the grid. Never mind. Okay. So you're, you're holding on, but the bridge is is still across. Which means to, to Evan with your action. Or is your action to hold on? Um, well, my action would be to try and, I guess, I would, I can't say jump. 
and, and just FYI, it looks like the fall is about 40 feet down to the water. Yeah, I don't want to do that. I would like to jump to this spot, if possible. Is it possible That's to jump? Well, given you're hanging on, I don't know how you jump. You don't have a platform for which to jump off of, and it's it's a ten you'd foot to, jump. I if I may make a suggestion, he'd probably have to swing himself on using an acrobatics check or some some of the sort. I was thinking about doing an acrobatics check too. You or you can hold your action, see what Mar Marwin can do for you guys. Uh, I no 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 no. no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> of little faith. That's such a silly idea. <laughs> How far across is this chasm? Is it thirty or thirty-five? Chasm. Five, five foot um squares. So five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five. So forty to get to the next platform. Or, or, or this, little, this little nudge here is is a little closer. Well, I told you what I wanted to do. So, right. so let's, 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 I'll do an acrobatics check. I'll just do an acrobatics skill check. Let's see what happens. But at a disadvantage, though. Sure. What, right. what do I need to hit? Uh, I'll make it. I'll make it's, it's, it's tough. I'll make it fifteen. Oh, why? Well, oh, wow. Okay. So, all right. So, so, yeah, you don't fall, but you don't. But you you don't have. You can't get the momentum to. To swing over, so you 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 abort, um, but you don't fall into the water. So it, it, that, that's a, that's a tough jump. Yeah. Um, all right, Ginger. Um, I want to. Uh, can I walk off? Am I close enough to walk off, or do I need to do some sort of acrobatics? You're hanging on. You have to do acrobatics. Okay, so that... at, at disadvantage, just to be fair. How does that happen? Roll the same thing again. Just just keep the lower of the two rolls. Oh. Dum 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 dum. Fuck oh, you! Holy crap! Holy so Ginger backflips. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. All right. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> now Marwin's gonna save all you guys. Marwin, don't fuck this up. I have an idea, but it's kind of risky. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> what do you got? Could I get here? Where are you? Oh, wait, He's in the bottom right oh, corner. Yes, you can. But you That's have to you, you do some rolling to do it, though. I'm going to go for it. All right, so I need you to make a DC-10 balance check. And you move at half speed when you're on that ledge. We're doomed. Balance. He has a plus zero for dex. Yeah. No, you have a fifty percent chance. So what? Is it just a dex roll? Dex roll. It's actually a fifty-five percent chance, but that's yeah, yeah. It's just that. Well, I, I have a question. Would it be an acrobatics check or would it be a dex roll? Uh, I'm it's just balance. It no I'd say dex. All also, right. for Marwin, I bet there's no difference. <laughs> That's a good point. That's true. <laughs> uh, crap. Where? So wait, is that under core stats? And then do I hit the save yeah, one? You, you, you just hit the you? save button. All right. Bam. All right, right. So, so am I, am I moving? <laughs> what happened is, so here Double I, fail. Ah! Oh, wow. Right, so we here, and then. Oh no! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was so close. <laughs> Hey, hey. All right, hey. Ryan, I need you to take a, I need you to roll, um, you have to take some non lethal damage. Um. Hey, Ryan. Take five. Now, the I had, a, I had a good idea, too. Ryan, Ryan would you take five damage bitch. from falling 40 feet? It, 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 it's, it's specific in, the, in this room, you have specific damage for, the, for this fall. So Ryan, it's, it's a low level module, they don't want to. Oh, because he's falling into water now, right? Yeah. Um, oh, okay. But Ryan, you wearing metal armor? Probably not. No. All right, good. That's very good. We would have addressed that last week anyway. Do I pull Dozen in with me then? Do we? Are we still tied together? Are we tied together? No. It didn't? No, you are tied to the rope. Dozen is not tied to the rope. We tied oh, it to funny. you. I should have tied that jerk. <laughs> <laughs> Ask it. 
Ask him to throw you a rope. <laughs> I don't Speaking think of which, it is out his action. Is it still Marwin's turn? No, he, he's done. It's Dusan's turn. But Dusan and I are buddies. He'll come save me. Yeah, you only talked to him into jumping off a ledge. I mean, he does kind of owe me. All right, so, top of the round, Sean. All right, I'm going to ask if I can do this. Okay. Can I also make an ac- uh, a acro- well, deck to acrobatics is the same for me. Where do you want to land? On top of a kobold. No, you can't do it, can you? Huh? Well, you can share space with an enemy. Your mic is screwing up. Whatever you're doing with your hands. Yeah, I oh. can't. Oh, sorry. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah. All right. Excuse me. Um, you I can't want... share. No, I j- So I I thought maybe if I land on Cobalt number one, maybe I appear on the his adjacent square. But I want to. It's so... probably not going to happen. But I just want to try to do what Evan Wood did. Instead of on a ledge, it's on a cobalt, maybe he'll take damage or something, because I'm pretty heavy. The way the the way this book writes it, if you're doing a jump action, you do a strength check for distance, and then if you're jumping into difficult terrain or attempting to jump over something, you have to do a, you have to do an acrobatics check. I would I would consider enemies to be difficult terrain. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I, all right, yeah. let's just do that. Let's do that. So the, the, the so the strength check is first. Yeah. Right. Free that, distance. That probably I can do. And, 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 I will not give you advantage disadvantage, but when you do your acrobatics check, you will have a disadvantage like All everyone right. else. That, that's fine. So. Okay. That's that, that's very good. Now I gotta do my acrobatics. Yes. All right. Well, well actually, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Never mind. Okay, so. <laughs> wow. You really failed. I'm a dwarf. So you land prone. Is in what happens water. if you fail that part. I'm, she, she land in the water then. Well, so she made her strength check, which is supposed to be the jump check, right? Oh, oh so says so, 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 I'm going to do this for you, okay? Okay. You're prone. Is there, right. is there, is there an icon for that? I I'll, I'll look on. for one. I'll look for one. Okay. Uh... <laughs> okay, now my Oh, look, okay, it's my turn. I, does he get an attack of opportunity? Is someone showering? What is going on? Nah, that was my bad. Sorry. I does forgot. That, I didn't mute my mic. Does Cobalt 1 get an attack of opportunity? Yeah, I assume right, let so. Let, let's do that first. What's your armor class, Darren? Uh, Sean. Um, he actually gets advantage for her being prone. Yeah, that okay. too. Uh, my armor class, I believe, is 19. You believe or it is? It is. I, nine, that's pretty high. I'm in chainmail. Chain I have mail. a ch- shield. Yeah. Well, I had a shield. All right. Um, it's probably on my back, so 18 so, probably. All right, so his, his dagger does not penetrate your armor. Now it's his action on a regular turn. What he's going to do is he's going to attack you again, and you're still prone. So I still get advantage. Is that yes. right? Yes. Okay. He can't penetrate your armor no matter what he try. Uh oh. Yeah, he can't penetrate your armor. Okay. Now, Cobalt 2 is going to have to cut the other rope. He starts cutting at, at, at the other rope. So let's see here. Okay, um, you roll 1d20. He misses the rope <laughs> and drops his dagger into the water. Okay. But he has a spear. All right, Cobalt 3. Auto tune the DM. Roll over 1. Um,. Cobalt 3, however, crits the rope. So I roll damage on the rope. Four. And the rope is, is severed, but it's not broken. It, it's, it's, he's, he's getting through it. Which brings us to Evanwood. Okay, so if I move arm over arm at like half speed, yeah. I should be able to make it back to the ledge, right? Half speed, that, y- yes. If I'm moving arm over arm to just sort of like crawl I, I, back this way, I'm just counting squares. Can I make it back to the ledge? Yeah. yeah. yeah I'm yeah, only yeah, like one. three squares away from the ledge. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, I'm, I, I, I'm agreeing with you. Yeah. Okay. So I'd be like here? Sure. Yes, that sounds right. One, two, yeah. Okay. All right. 
And then I, I guess I'll make my action. I'll be standing up. Okay. All right, Ginger. 